making predictions goes beyond black magic, recognition, and hunches. Making predictions can actually transform your business, and in this video, I will show you how. Hi there, I'm Calvin Fernandez, your AI advisor, and welcome to another AI shot. So if you are like most people, whenever you hear the word prediction, two things come to your mind. One is tarot cards and the other one is crystal balls. Okay, and the goal of this video is basically showing you that making predictions is actually not a woo-woo thing with no scientific basis, but it's actually quite the opposite. Okay, if you want to know more about predictions and machine learning, I will leave a link below to our free course on machine learning. Okay, so let me start with this woo recommendation, which is the prediction machines. Okay. The Simple Economics of Artificial Intelligence, I truly recommend you reading this book, whether you are on the technical part of machine learning or the business component of using AI. It's a, actually a good book to, for you to read. And these guys give like the best definition for predictions I have ever read, which is this. Prediction is the process of filling in missing information. So predictions take information you have, often called data, and use it to generate information you don't have. Okay? So basically predictions is taking what you know at this point to improve or to fill in the blanks for the parts that you don't know. And if you work in decision making or if you have to make decisions on a daily basis, you know that the quality of, the, your, of your decisions is capped by the amount of information you have, by the amount and the, and the kind of evidence that that information has. So if you are making decisions and you could have even more information, and if that information could be like supported by strong evidence um, that it's true, for sure you will make better decisions on a daily basis. And that is actually the, the power of machine learning models, of what they call on this book, prediction machines, okay? Which is basically filling in the blanks, providing you more information so you can make better decisions on a daily basis, okay? So if you're getting value of this video, remember to, to give us a thumbs up. And basically nowadays, AI and machine learning is mainly focused on building these so-called prediction machines, so on generating predictions. If I ask you, give me three, five examples about predictions, what comes to your mind? I guess it's about predictions about the future, right? For example, who will win a football game? Or what will be the next product that this customer will buy? Or when will this customer cancel his subscription? Or will it rain tomorrow? Okay, these are all examples of predictions about the future. And we are deeply focused on predictions about the future. One to we want to know what will happen tomorrow, the next week, etc. With my business, with my clients, etc. With the market, um, for example, will a stock increase or decrease in the next month? So most predictions that come to your mind most likely are about the future, but they don't have to be. We can have predictions about the present or about the past, and they are equally powerful for to transform your business or your decision making. For example, let me give you some examples about predictions about the present. Let's say you have an X-ray and you want to know if a patient has a certain disease. Let's say you have a ticket, a support ticket from, your, from a client, and you want to know which feature is a client complaining about. Let's say you had a, machi a machine that is failing, okay? And you want to know what is the part of the machine that is causing the failure, okay? So this is a prediction about the future. Compare it with a pre about the present. Compare it with a prediction that will be about the future, which will be when this will machine fail. So when this will machine fail is a prediction about the future. What component of the machine is causing the failure is a prediction about the present, okay? Or even about the past, because the, the, the the component already failed. So predictions can be both about the future and about the present or the past. The way you use these predictions to transform your business is different. It's what makes them unique. So how can you use predictions from the future to transform your business? By anticipating actions. So if you don't know when will a client leave, you don't know how to treat them, how to, what kind of offers to give them. But if you know that information and what is causing that problem, what is the most likely cause, uh, for them to leave next month, then you can basically anticipate actions in a better way. So make the most optimal action now that will condition the potential future that you are you are predicting as now. Okay. So if you know that a stock will increase, then let's buy that stock now. So these are examples of how can you use predictions about the future nowadays, which is anticipating actions, simulating what will happen in the future, and then taking the action that improves your condition, your situation in that future. How can you leverage predictions pr from the present? Basically, there are two ways. The first one is by reducing manual workloads. So typically you have a human monitoring something uh, or inspecting a, a artifact machine or whatever. And if you can automate the process of reading that, then you're basically reducing the amount of workload, okay, that, that, you're, that you will have. For example, 
if you have a machine that detects uh, errors on a production line, okay? If I'm manufacturing and then you have a machine that will do quality assurance on all the percentage of your products, then this is a, this is a prediction about the present, okay? And you are making money, you are transforming your business by reducing the amount of humans, the amount of people you will need to put there in the production line to inspect if everything is working uh, well or not or which pieces are, are failing, okay? So the other way is basically by reducing the error rates that you have, okay? So one is reducing manual workload, the other one is reducing the error rates. For example, let's say you have doctors with tend to fail in 10% of the cases, 10% of the patients. If you can lower that to 5% of the patients, then you're making money out of it and you're improving your business out of it. So both predictions, future and present based, are relevant for your business. They can get, they can help you make better decisions both that will affect both the future of your company and the efficiency of your company nowadays. So if you haven't watched our video about what is AI, I recommend it. I will, I will leave it here for you. Remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you soon. Bye bye.